Today's video is going to be a VHS DVD and Blu-ray update for August 10th, 2022. For this update, I got 5 VHS tapes, 23 DVDs, and 7 Blu-rays to show for this update. This is kind of an overdue update because I was going to do this on Sunday, but I got kind of tired and busy, so I decided to delay it for today. But here's the update. <coughs> So yeah, let's start with this update. First, we're going to start with the VHS tapes, which these first four VHS tapes are four VHS tapes that I got at the Brunswick, Cleveland, Ohio um, thrift store on 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 July 30th, Saturday, which, which, which is when I was visiting my papa and grandma's house that weekend. And so I got to their, their, the thrift store they had along the Goodwill, which I found four VHS tapes from that thrift store. And here they are, which three are clamshells and one is in a cut box. And these first two movies I had on DVD, but I want to get the VHS tapes just for nostalgic purposes. This was the first movie to use the Warner Brothers Family, Family Entertainment logo. I have this movie on DVD, but I decided to get the VHS tape again, just for collection purposes. October 11th, 1993. So it's, so yeah, to this, this tape was printed on my birthday, even though I was born in 2000. So this tape was printed seven years before I was born, 2000. So that's pretty cool. Also have this one on DVD, but I decided to get the VHS tape again just for nostalgic purposes. This one has the Michael Jackson music video "Will You Be There" at the beginning of this tape. October twenty first, nineteen ninety three. And this last clamshell is a Disney VHS tape. This is a movie I didn't have in my collection. This is the 2003 VHS release of The Journey of Natty Dan from Walt Disney Home Entertainment. Oh, this is actually a 2002 VHS tape, my bad. August 6, 2002... I thought this tape's from 2003, but it was actually from 2002. And this last VHS tape that I got at the thrift store on July 30th, the Saturday, is a cut box. And this is an extremely rare tape. This is, this is, this is originally, originally used to belong to Mendy, Mendia County District Library. This is the 2004 version of Fly of the Phoenix. I have the original 1965 version on Criterion Collection Blu-ray. But this is the 2004 remake. And this is a 2005 VHS tape from 2020 Fox Home Entertainment. So I couldn't pass this up. I don't really see a print date there. Yeah, so, yeah, very lucky to get this tape. Sorry, I was kind of, I'm kind of sniffling today. And this last VHS tape that I got for this update is a VHS tape that I got from eBay early, um, early around last week. And this is a Warner Brothers Big Box VHS tape from 1984. This was a bid auction, which I won. Part of the adult action genre. This movie is from Golden Harvest, while it was released by Warner Brothers. And the DVD release of this movie is from 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment. This is a 1980 movie. This is one of Jackie Chan's earliest films. The tape is a reprint because it has the Cheese Shield War Home Video Stick label. It's a former form from Hills Video Center, but this tape still uses the Big W logo. Warner Home Video Big W logo at the beginning of this tape. 
Now let's get on the DVDs. These first, the first four DVDs are four DVDs I got the Brunswick Cleveland Ohio Thrift Store on that Saturday, July 30th, along with the four VHS tapes. Found four DVDs there. Columbia Pictures movie. Hold on, just need to, just need to wipe this. Sony Rewards, but this one, but Sony Rewards is closed, so this code's not probably going to work. Now this movie was released here on was released here on DVD and Blu-ray, and the movie itself was released here in America by Warner Brothers. While well, I think Universal had the international rights on home video, I believe. This is a Woody Allen movie. Last TV I got the thrift store. This movie was this movie is actually produced by Lionsgate and Roadside Attractions, while it was released on DVD and Blu-ray by Lionsgate. Here's the digital copy code, which I believe already which which expired on November 10, 2016. <clears throat> Next, next are six DVDs. I got the Goodwill store at Brunswick, Cleveland, Ohio, which I also went on that Saturday. I found six DVDs there. Formal from Blockbuster. Um, the Blockbuster date is December 22, 2009. So I believe that will, that I believe that was probably Andrew Tunes YouTube users Andrew Tunes fourteenth birthday that day. I think and three days till Christmas. This movie, this movie, this now this movie was released in two thousand eight in, in the UK. While this, while in, while this movie didn't get a, a United States release until it aired on Nickelodeon in two thousand ten. This is actually a British movie from Paramount Nickelodeon Movies. This is an Infinifilm DVD. New Light Cinema and Finifilm DVD. This has a really cool, um, like, reflective cover as well, which is pretty cool. Rest in peace, Ray Liotta. This DVD is released by MGM, while I think this movie was released by MGM Distribution Independently, I believe.
This is on the widescreen side. New Line, Plant Se New Line Platinum Series DVD release. Actually comes in a white case, which is pretty interesting. And this is actually a two disc, which is also interesting. I have the more and after on VHS. This one has the movie, and this too has the bonus features. Here's the last DVD I got. Last DVD I got the Goodwill store that that Saturday. This one's a form rental because it comes in a rental DVD case. And this movie's released by Paramount Classics. Next three DVDs are the th or three DVDs I got at the Dollar Tree store at Brunswick, Cleveland, Ohio. The same day I went to that Goodwill store and the thrift store when my during my visit at Papa's house, which he lives there. Found three DVDs there at Dollar Tree. And this is a British movie released by Capital Films, I believe, but it was released on DVD in America by Warner Brothers. And it actually has and actually has the original movie ticket for Charlie and Ch Chocolate Factory, but this one expired. The very but this one's probably expired, so so this one's probably not going to be all that. So so this is probably unusable. This is on the widescreen side. The other side is full screen. <sighs> Last thing we got, Dollar Tree. Now this now this version of the favorite has nothing to do with the 2018 um Oscar nominated film from Fox Search Like Pictures. This is a completely different version of the favorite. And it's released on DVD by Universal. Next four DVDs are four DVDs I got from BarnesandNoble.com on on the end of July, which I ordered four more Criterion DVDs from the Criterion fifty percent off sale, which just which just ended on July thirty first. I, I ordered four more Criterion DVDs, and here they are. Sign numbers one thousand and twelve. This movie is in span is in is in Spanish with English subtitles. It's from Sony Pictures Classics. I know this movie won the best uh, the Oscar for best foreign film of 1999. So why not give this movie a, ch a shot? This movie I had on VHS, but I decided to get the Criterion DVD. Did, I actually didn't know this movie was released on Criterion DVD and Blu-ray. 768 is the side number. Released by United Artists.
This booklet's this is a really big booklet, so I have I don't really have enough time to show it, but I will show you the discs. Disc one and disc two. Side number, side number is 967. This one's released by Universal. And this movie is the directorial, de the directorial debut of, of Robert Zemeckis. Sorry, I haven't been pronouncing words lately, so I can't really talk. And it was also the first film executive produced by Steven Spielberg, which is pretty cool. Last DVD that I got from BarnesandNoble.com. Eight hundred forty-five. This movie's from from Samuel Golden Films, Sony Pictures, releasing and Destination Films. Next three DVDs are three DVDs I got from Amazon.com um, um, on last week. Got three DVDs or three more DVDs off of Amazon. This is another movie I've been this is a, this is a, this is a movie I've been wanting to get for a very long time after hearing so many good things about it, and now I finally have a copy of it. Comes in 2004 DVD case, but the disc itself is a reprint from 2017. This is another movie I've been wanting to get for a very long time. Now I finally got myself a copy of it after hearing so many funny things about this film. This is a Hollywood Pictures movie. Last DVD I got from Amazon. This DVD I did have, which was the 2003 um, Collector Edition DVD release, but I decided to go ahead and get replace that copy with this 2017 Kino Lobo Studio Classics DVD release because I have the Kino Lobo Studio, Studio Classics of the other two um, Man With No Name movies, so... Why not get this one to complete it? This is a three disc set. Has a theatrical cut, the extended cut, and the special features. And there's the alternate art artwork. Case is a bit cracked, so I'm gonna to try to order another three disc DVD case like this soon. Next two DVDs are two DVDs I got from the antique store at my local antique store, in which I found two DVDs there. I got these DVDs out on, on Friday night on Friday night on first Friday in August. S sorry, I was rambling too much. Found two DVDs there. I have the first two American Pie movies on DVD, so why not get this one? I'm I, I'm still looking for American Reunion, which I'm going to probably get that on Blu-ray soon, since I have the this one and the first two American Pie movies. Although I'm still not getting the American Pie Presents movies because I'm just sticking to the regular American Pie films, in my opinion. And here's the other DVD I got from the antique store.
This one's an interesting one. This is from a company called Oscope um, Laboratories. This is number 18, their series. I did hear pretty good things about this movie, so why not pick this up? Comes a really cool paper like DVD case. And here's the disc. It's my first Oloscope um, Laboratories DVD I have in my collection. Here's the last DVD I got for the subday, which I got this on Dollar Tree on Saturday. I my local my my Dollar Tree store, the one that was by um, Meyer, one of the Dollar Tree stores that I have. Comes with a slipcover case, which I already just showed. This movie's this movie's from Neon Entertainment and was released on DVD by Universal. And now, and lastly, here are the seven Blu-rays that I got for this update. Which I have seven seven Blu-rays to show for this update. These first two Blu-rays, I these first two Blu-rays I got from Amazon.com earlier this month. This one I had on DVD, but but when this Blu-ray came out, I decided to go ahead and replace my DVD copy for, with this Blu-ray, which my DVD copy was a Warner Archive DVD. So it's probably better to have this on Blu-ray instead of the DVD-R disc. If you're wondering, I think this is a press blu-ray disc instead of a dvd r that blue well blu-ray r that paramount sometimes does their catalog titles on blu-ray this one i had on dvd as well but i wanted to get this on blu-ray here's the digital copy code which already expired And this next Blu-ray is a Blu-ray that I got from eBay on um, two weeks ago. This was a and this was a bid auction, so I won. And this is another movie I had on DVD, but I decided to upgrade the Blu-ray. This is a Columbia Pictures movie. This next Blu-ray is a Blu-ray that I got at the Dollar Tree store at Brunswick, Cleveland, Ohio, along with the DVDs of Five Children and It, the 1517 to Paris, and and the Favorite. Found a Blu-ray there that I decided to pick up. This is a this one the Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film of 2010. So why not check this out? It's from Sony Pictures Classics. This movie is in Danish with English subtitles. And it's also won the Golden Globe Award winner for Best Foreign Film as well.
These next two Blu-rays are two Blu-rays that I got at gameplay on on the on first Friday of this on this August earlier this month. I found two Blu-rays that I decided to pick up. This one I had on DVD, but I wanted to get on Blu-ray. Since I have Flax for our fathers on Blu-ray, why not get this? This is from DreamWorks. This is from Warner Brothers and DreamWorks. And here's the other blu I got from Gameplay. This is a this is actually a remake to the 1939 mo version movie of the woman, which I have the MGM Diamond Jubilee VHS tape of that movie from 1985. So why not get this remake? And this is from Picture House, Division of New Line Cinema. And this blu when I got this was a formal from Blockbuster and did come in the Blockbuster case, but I decided to put this in the regular Blu-ray Blu case because I pr prefer to have that, in my opinion. And here's the last Blu-ray for this update, which I got this at Dollar Tree along with the same day as the uh, American uh, Assassination Assassination Nation DVD on Saturday. And this one, and this Blu-ray is interesting. This is a blu This is the Blu-ray to the Fault and Now Stars, but as you can see. It has the title in Spanish, and the description is in this, is in Spanish. It has an ads in Spanish, well, little adverts. And the Blu-ray disc itself, and when I got this, um, I cited... Go ahead and test this Blu-ray. The Blu-ray itself is still has the movie in English. In fact, it's still the American Blu-ray Master with the Spanish thing there, which that's pretty interesting. So, so this Blu-ray still has the movie in English, which is pretty cool. If you're one, yeah, Dollar Tree has been selling these Spanish DVD and Blu-rays lately, which is pretty strange. But at least this one's still in English. So, yep. And that's it for my VHS DVD and Blu-ray update for August 10th, 2022. Hope you guys like this video and see you guys later.